Right, excellent. Next thing we're going to do is let's have an output to show how we can use that. So I'm going to do a print. Uh, I'm not going to put speech marks in. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this random. So I'm going to start by typing random dot rand int. So I'll explain how this works. Random is the name that we've imported. And inside random are lots of different things we can do with random numbers. Uh, one of them is we can make a random integer. Okay, you're saying, oh, whoa, 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 stop, sir, stop. What's a random integer? What's, an, what's this int? Well, there's different types of numbers. Is We could do 12.5, minus 8, pi maybe, uh, a phone number, although that's technically not a number. It's actually text, just made up, text made up of numbers. So we have different kinds of numbers. But each number has different behaviors. This one here has a decimal place. This one here is a constant number we can never change. This one here is a whole number. And it doesn't matter if it's minus or plus or zero, it's still a whole number. So we look at what, why is a whole number important. Well, say for example I'm doing the register and I'm counting up how many people there are in the room and double checking have I got the right number. Well, I would never get 29 and a half. Now that would just be silly. Well, not unless something really awful happened with a chainsaw. Um, I would get 30 or 29. So those some things have to be whole numbers. When we count, we tend to count in whole numbers. And computers love to count. It's the same with a dice. When you roll a dice, it will land on a whole number, never on an edge. So in computing, we call whole numbers integers. But we can't be bothered to spell integer most of the time, so we shorten it to int. So what we've got here is random integer, which is rand int, which means make a random whole number for me. And that's great, but we need to put some limits. Is We can't just say make a random number between a billion and a million, billion, billion. We need to actually say between what? Well, so I'm going to say between one and six, inclusive. I'm going to save that. I'm going to run that. All going well. I get a four. Hey. But test it again, run again. Five. I can keep running it. And I will, every time, I will get a different random number. So what I'd like you now to do is add the line, print, random, dot, rand, int, and in brackets, 1, 6. Don't forget there's two closed brackets because one of them is from there and the other bracket is from all the way over there. So you need to close it twice. Away you go.